Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I have another Under Armour mask. And this one might look a little different to you, the packaging anyway. So this is the Project Rock version of the Under Armour UA Sports Mask. I've already reviewed all the other colors of the UA Sports Mask, but when I saw that they came out with a Project Rock edition, I had to get it so I could show you. But before we start, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell icon right next to it so you never miss a video. And if you're not new here, but you still haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and get that out of the way. Okay, so you'll notice this looks a little different. It's blue with some gold accents. I believe that's the only difference in this mask is that it has the gold accents and the Project Rock logo, I believe. But we're gonna open it up and find out. Now, I do wanna thank the person that commented and told me about this little, you don't have to cut them open the way I've been cutting them open. There's a little tab with a seal really hard to do. Oh, see, you don't have to do the whole cutting it the way I was cutting it, but I didn't know. I didn't see that. I don't have the best eyesight. So I want to remind you, first of all, that this is non-medical, non-PPE. This one is $35. It's $5 more, at least according to the current prices, than the other masks. The packaging is the same. All the information on it is the same. I don't see anything different. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. Can I just tell you? The pouch is different. Now, I would have paid an extra $5 to have all my other masks in all the other colors have a pouch that matches the mask. That is awesome. I am so glad that they did that. And inside the pouch is information about how to put it on, how to take it off and how to clean it. They do recommend that you hand wash it. And there's a very large tag in here, wow. But once we take that tag out, we'll be left with our antimicrobial pouch. Now, Antimicrobial is not the same as antiviral. I wanna repeat, this is not an antiviral mask. I know that some people have said that and they may have gotten misinformation, it is not. So before we put this on, I'm going to do what I always do and just spray it with some alcohol. This is just regular alcohol. And then we'll take a look at it in more detail. Spray my hands too. And we'll compare it to my other mask, that's the same color. Okay, in the meantime, I do wanna talk about a couple things. So I know I always tell you that these masks are non-medical and non-PPE. I always tell you that, and it says that on the packaging as well. But I wanna explain it a little bit better because there's been some confusion. There's been some questions in the comments. There's also been some other YouTubers like that video I did about the Tim Tracker saying it was antiviral. It's not. Please don't think it is, it's not. I'm not really sure where some of this information is coming from, but I do wanna clear up some of the confusion. You'll probably hear me say, and you'll hear other people say this too, that masks don't protect you, but they protect others from you. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means that if you have the virus or an illness and you're wearing a mask, you are less likely to spread it to others. And I'm sure now some of you are saying, but I'm not sick, why do I need to wear a mask? Well, you could be sick and not know it, or you could be an asymptomatic carrier and not know that either. So if everyone were to wear masks, we would slow the spread of the virus. And unfortunately, even though there's recommendations for everyone to wear masks, in some localities like where I live say that you should wear a mask and mandate it indoors and recommend it outdoors as well, a lot of people aren't doing it. So what's happening is because everybody's not complying with the guidance and mandates that this virus and other illnesses just keep spreading. So the purpose, considering that, of these masks is 
to comply with CDC recommendations as well as local mask mandates. It is not to protect you from getting the virus. Although if everyone were to wear a mask, it would protect all of us from getting the virus. I hope this is starting to make sense now. Let me know down in the comments below if this makes sense to you. So as you know, I'm a personal trainer, I'm a nutritionist, and I'm also a figure skating coach. And as a figure skating coach, I am indoors in a closed environment that's cold and humid. So in addition to these Under Armour sports masks, I do wear an N95 under it. And the reason I do that is because for some reason, and I can't, can't tell you why, because I didn't come up with this, but where I live, yoga studios, karate studios, and gyms, you must wear a mask at all times. However, ice rinks, you are permitted to take your mask off as soon as you get on the ice. Now, I don't know why, because that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, why you need to wear one if you're at a gym on a treadmill or lifting weights, but you wouldn't need to wear one when you're at an ice rink. I don't know. But because I'm in an environment where other people are not wearing masks, I wear an N95 and then I wear the Under Armour mask over it. And the reason I do that is because I want to not only protect others from me, but I want to protect myself too. There have been recent outbreaks in places like Massachusetts where they've actually shut down ice rinks for 14 days because of the spread in those particular situations. So I spend the extra money to wear an N95. It is not comfortable, but I do it anyway because I want to protect myself. I want to be able to continue to work. I want to also protect others from me. So I wear a mask and I do take it even a step further. And because it's difficult for skaters to hear me sometimes when, when I have an N95 and then an Under Armour UA sports mask over it, I use a personal PA system. So this is a microphone and a PA that I can wear over my shoulder or clip into one of my pockets. And it amplifies my voice and I can put it in the direction of wherever I want it to carry to. But it amplifies my voice so I'm not pulling my mask down. Because every time you touch your mask and pull it down, you're potentially contaminating your hand with whatever is on the mask. So rather than do that, I use the microphone. What can I say? I'm a problem solver. Now, some of this may sound extreme to some of you, but if you think that, I want you to check out Meet Kevin's video on masks. I love Meet Kevin. He has a pretty extreme video on what he thinks we should do for masks. So there's a link to that in the description down below. So when do I wear the Under Armour UA Sports Max alone without the N95? Well, I do it lots of times. So if I'm running into the, the store and it's a store where they require masks and everybody's wearing them properly, I'll just wear the UA Sports Mask. But if I'm gonna be somewhere for an extended period of time, like the ice rink where some people are wearing a mask and other people are not wearing a mask, then I wear the N95 with the UA Sports Mask. Does this make sense to you? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so I just wanted to address that because I've been getting a lot of comments about it and I wanted to give it just a little more clarification about the purpose of this mask. Back to the new UA Sports Mask. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It has, ooh, this is raised. That's different. This is, ooh, they're both raised, okay. It's a little different, okay. So I have my regular navy blue and the new Project Rock navy blue. And they look almost the same, except for the Project Rock one has a gold logo and it's raised, whereas this one on the original navy blue is just a, like it feels like an iron on. But this is actually raised, so it gives a little bit of a 3D look. And the Project Rock logo is also raised. It looks pretty nice. Inside matches the pouch. So the print on the pouch is the same as the print on the inside. Now that's a little bit different from the other UA Sports masks because these are just black on the inside. Now the material is all still the same. It's got the ISOCHIL 
and it's treated with the antimicrobial, which is to keep the mask fresh, not to protect you from viruses, just to be clear. Let's see how it fits. Let's see if the fit is, is the same. So it comes from the nose to the bottom of the chin. It's snug against the face. It fits the same as all the other masks. I actually really like this version of it though with the gold. What do you guys think? Is that a big deal? Would you pay five extra dollars to have the gold emblems and the color coded pouch? How cool is that? I've been asking for that. Maybe Under Armour heard me and responded. Doubt it, but maybe they did. So if you're interested in buying this or any of the other Under Armour masks, I have lots of video reviews. I also have a comprehensive review on my website that explains all the features and benefits of the mask and why you should wear one and that it is non-medical. We already went over that. There's a link to all of them in the description down below. There's also a link below that's an affiliate link to the mask so that you can order it and I'll get a little something if you do that and using my link and I'd appreciate it if you do that because it really does help support the channel. Also, you can take it a step further. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends and social media too. That goes a long way to help others find the channel and if they're looking for a mask, they actually might wanna watch this video. And if you like my content, hit that subscribe button and then tap the bell icon next to it so you'll always get notified when I release a new video. That's all for now. This is Amy. I will see you real soon. Bye.